Hello everyone. Today we are going to study a beautiful poem written by Percy Bysshe Shelley called The Cloud. So students, as we all know that clouds are non-living things. They cannot speak, walk, laugh or do any human activities. But here in this poem, the poet P.B. Shelley personified the cloud and the cloud itself describes its life story using number of images. So let us read the poem and enjoy the beauty of the poem. Yes? Students, before looking into the poem, let us look at the brief biography of the poet Percy Bysshe Shelley. P.B. Shelley is one of the major English romantic poets who was born on 4th August 1792. He born in Horsham, United Kingdom. He wrote many books namely Ode to the West Wind, Queen Map, Ozymandias, etc. He died on 8th July 1822. So, this is a brief biography about the poem. Now, let us look into the poem, The Cloud. The Cloud I bring fresh showers for the thirsting flowers from the seas and the streams. I wear light shade for the leaves when lay in their noonday dreams. From my wings are shaken the dews that waken the sweet buds everyone. When rocked to rest on their mother's breast as she dances about the I wheel the flail of the lashing hail and whiten the green plains under. And then again I dissolve it in rain and laugh as I pass in thunder. I am the daughter of earth and water and the nestling of the sky. I pass through the pores of the ocean and shores. I change but I cannot die. For after the rain when with never stain the pavilion of heaven is bare and the winds and sunbeams with their convex gleams build up the blue dome of air. I silently laugh at my own cenotaph and out of the caverns of rain. Like a child from the womb, like a ghost from the tomb, I arise and unbuild it again. So, this is the poem, The Cloud. Now, let us discuss the poem, Stanza Wise. I bring fresh showers for the thirsting flowers from the seas and the streams. I bear light shade for the leaves when lay in their noonday dreams. Children, here I refers to the cloud. The poem opens by describing the cloud's relationship with nature. The cloud brings rain to the thirsty flowers. And where do they bring the water from? Yes. They bring this water from different water sources, namely sea and streams. Here, the cloud brings rain to the thirsty flowers and it acts as a gardener who waters the plants. I bear light shade for the leaves when laid in their noonday dreams. Yes, the cloud casts its shade over the trees during afternoon. Here, leaves are compared to children and the cloud, being the mother, shared the child who is sleeping in the afternoon and dreaming. From my wings are shaken the dews that waken the sweet birds everyone when rocked to rest on their mother's breast as she dances about the sun. Further, the cloud becomes a bird. Yes, so far we have seen that the cloud has become a gardener, a mother, 
now it it has become a bird the bird shakes its wings and dew from its wings awaken the birds the drops of water that is nothing but dew awakens the sleeping birds which had gone to sleep on their mother's breast and when the birds blooms they dances they dance in the sunshine i wheel the flail of the lashing hail and whiten the green plains under and then again i dissolve it in rain and laugh as i pass in thunder so far we have seen that the cloud cloud has become a gardener a mother a nurse yes but here the cloud is cruel yes it uses flail so students you know that a flail is a type of weapon the cloud uses flail upon lashing hails hails is nothing but hailstones and the earth surface turns white as it covered with hailstones the green fields of the earth looks completely white because of the hailstone but what happens to that hailstone so slowly these hailstones dissolve or melt in water look at the last line of the stanza and love as i pass in thunder the loud sound of the thunder is compared to the laughter of the cloud so in these three stanzas the several activities of the clouds are depicted yes so we have listed so many activities of the cloud i am the daughter of earth and water and the nestling of the sky i pass through the pores of the ocean and shores i change but i cannot die so now the cloud describes its origin the cloud says that it is the daughter of earth and water and it is the child nursed by the sky the cloud passes through small openings in the seas and shores it undergoes changes so we know that it takes different shapes though it takes different shape remember it does not die that is i change but i cannot die for after the rain when with never stain the pavilion of heaven is bare and the winds and the sunbeams with their convex gleams build up the blue dome of a so when the rain stops we see that the sky will be clear and will become bare here the pavilion of heaven is nothing but the sky so it becomes clearer so at that time the wind breezes very cool and the sun shines very brightly and the sky looks like a blue dome after the rain yes so last stanza of the poem i silently laugh at my own senator and out of the caverns of rain like a child from the womb like a ghost from the tomb i arise and unveil it again we all know that senator is a monument built in memory of died people yes so here the cloud is talking about death it silently laughs at its own senator that is nothing but its own death but it does not or it cannot die remember it emerges once again from rain it takes birth again like a child from the womb as a ghost from the tomb the cloud takes its birth again like it arises and covers the sky so till with this we have discussed the clouds birth its life and as well as its death and we know that 
it takes different shapes but it cannot die it arise and it unveil it again so after discussing the poem in a nutshell to tell you the summary of the poem the poet pb shelley personified the cloud yes there is a personification the cloud itself describes its origin its life as well as its death so it's an autobiography of a cloud the poem is full in imagery right it's full of a variety of pictures as we read the poem we come across lots of scenery that means the poem is rich in imaginary yes i hope the poem is completely understandable as well as it's very beautiful poem please read it and enjoy the poem thank you